Hey, Scruffy. How you doing? Okay, I'm not sure how to interpret that meow, but... Yeah, not as loud as sometimes, but not as soft as some other times. Kind of drawn out, too. So I'm about 20 minutes early to dinner, and I got the last of your smelly fish. So I bet you're ready for that. Yeah, it looks like you have a smile there. So let's bring it out. Okay. So here comes your smelly fish. Past you. Just water. Yeah, I think he actually drank some. Yeah. We'll put the food on the table. Okay. Grab the glove while I'm here. Okay. Get into the chair. <clears throat> Ready? You can come into the little nook. So I think the weather was a tad bit warmer today, so the heating trend is slowly continuing so yeah it seemed kind of nice today but yeah once again I didn't really get out till sunset so I kind of missed all the good weather so I had a really another busy stressful day so I was trying to deal with uh, some paperwork or I'm not sure what to call it, but uh, things associated with my father's death and you know state and whatever. So um, so there were some screw ups that happened a while back and so now I need to try to correct them. But I'm kinda of putting it off his last things hoping that you know maybe there would be something that just kind of resolves itself but it doesn't look like it's going to happen so yeah i had to call up some institutions today and i was on hold the entire day i can't believe it so i was on hold for many many hours <clears throat> it's ridiculous so i actually had this problem was it a year ago, or a little over a year ago, a year and a half ago, I can't remember. Yeah, I think it was, it's actually probably both. So when this whole lockdown stuff started, it was, it was right after my dad's death, and so I was starting the process then, and because of, lo of the lockdowns, uh, all these companies were completely caught off guard and didn't have the infrastructure necessary uh, to basically, one, work from home, and then two, uh, there was increased demand for their services, just because I guess nobody else had anything better to do. <laughs> so, so everyone else, you know, trapped at home, saying, "Oh, might as well get rid, you know, get this, uh, you know, paperwork processed or something." I don't know. So anyway, they, yeah, one of the agents today told me, yeah, sorry, uh, you need to talk to uh, one of the specialists in this one particular uh, subdivision, but because of the, I guess, yeah, the ongoing uh, situation, they're completely understaffed, and they've just been have, having a difficult time hiring anybody, and... Uh, and then even if they can hire somebody, the training process takes a really long time. Though, I mean, this was a problem like a year ago, so, you know, they should have been hired. <laughs> and then by now, they should have been trained, but, yeah, I kind of understand, but still, the, the wait is ridiculous. Whoa, 
swat at me. Don't appreciate being swat at Scruffy. I don't think he clawed me, I think he just smacked me. I didn't feel anything catch this time. I don't know why he swat at me though. Seems like he likes the pets. So, what are you trying to tell me, Scruffy? So, anyway, I'm yeah, really, really stressed from today. It's, it's kind of a nightmare day. Cool. Things I didn't really want to deal with, and it's all drawn out and made even more complicated. So, I got a. I think I got the bulk of it done today. There's, I think, one or two more outstanding things that I got to deal with. The second one can't be dealt with until after I resolve the first one, though, so I gotta resolve the first one. Big problem with the first one, though, is this one actually requires a government agency, and they're the worst. So, they never have the staffing, and they tend to lose. Well, actually, I take that back. I don't even know if they lose phone calls. You know, a lot of times, they won't even get you directed to a place where you can leave a message. So my pre pre previous experience with them is you're on hold the entire day, and if you're lucky, you might talk to somebody. If not, you got to do it all again the next day. In a few instances, you do get through, only to be sent to a recording that says leave a message. You leave a message, and then they never get back to you. And so once again, you're calling and waiting on the hold all day. So I really don't want to do this one. Um, <clears throat> and then the other problem is it's not clear which agency I need to talk to, so I don't even know who, who specifically to call. So I'm thinking I'm just going to write a letter and hope it gets forwarded to the right division eventually. But it does mean the other thing I need to do won't get done. Fortunately, there's no direct penalty for this one for taking a long time, but there is a financial expense uh, to it. So basically, it costs me more in uh, tax lawyer fees and uh, annual filings. So it's not cheap to keep drawing this out, but I guess I can go another year. <laughs> probably ridiculous. Probably should just close it now, but uh, so I don't have a tax guy, a lawyer anymore. So my, I, probably, I may have mentioned yeah, my tax lawyer announced he was retiring, so I gotta find another one. So that's another thing I gotta do, actually. So that's not another major thing on my list. So I don't really want to wait till uh, the last minute for tax season, so I should do it now. But, yeah, I'm not sure how to go about finding a good tax person. Seven, looking on Yelp. I'm not sure if that's the right thing to do. And I don't even know if it's the right thing to get a local tax lawyer or, does it mean, or just find a good tax lawyer. So... <clears throat> and the irony is, you know, I'm basically bleeding money right now, so I don't really have any money that I really owe in any significant quantities, yet my taxes are actually complicated enough that I'm going to still have to fork out for a semi-decent uh, tax person. 
<laughs> so that really sucks. So, yeah, more insult to injury. Okay, I think it's about time, Scruffy. Probably thinking all I want is the smelly fish. I can smell it from here. Right? He's staring at me. Okay, well, let's get your food. Okay, there's that meow. The food meow. So even though I got a bunch technically done today, I'm still feeling really stressed and anxious. I don't know why. For some reason I feel like I'm missing something or something's gonna go wrong or I don't know. But I'm just not. I'm not feeling any relief. I'm just feeling tons of anxiety right now. This is really nasty grooming back there. So let's see. Oh yeah, so last night in the middle of the night, as I was uh, getting ready to go to bed, I saw Scruffy was sleeping on the big table in front of the kitchen window, and. Uh, Yeah, he was there for a while, because yeah, it, was, it took me a while to finish up the go to bed, and uh, so yeah, he was there for a while, and didn't seem to notice or mind me being in the kitchen, and I think I even started to start to uh, start the dishwasher last time, I think I was doing something with a dishwasher, it woke him up, and he was very displeased with me, <laughs> but this time he seemed to sleep through it, so... I didn't get any pictures because uh, he was it was in the dark, so he wouldn't come out. Barely, barely see him. Um, but then I woke up early this morning, so I didn't get enough sleep again. And I saw he was still on the table, so I don't know if maybe he left in the middle of the night and got back on. But uh, yeah, he was on the table again, so he was sleeping in the morning on the table. So yeah, he's starting to like the table again. And then I think mid-morning he finally jumped off and uh, came out. Let's see. I think it was around lunchtime to bring out his water. Actually, it was a little. It was late to lunch, so it was I think a little after lunch. It was after lunch. It's on the. It's on hold, so I didn't want to. Uh, be away from the phone. So, yeah. So, one of them finally resolved, yeah, I think a little after lunchtime. So, I was finally able to take a break and get Scruffy's water out. So, anyway, yeah, I uh, came out, and yesterday I mentioned I didn't see him. And then, reviewing the footage, I found out, yeah, he was there all the time. I just didn't see him behind the pot of the plant. So, today I, I need to look there or check there, or double check there to make sure he wasn't in that same spot, and yeah, he was. What was interesting today was he pretty much completely ignored me, <laughs> so I came out, and usually I get him to look over, and you know, keeping an eye on me or something to see what I'm doing. When I saw him, yeah, he didn't even seem to be looking my direction, he was looking in the garden. Yeah, and yeah, I was making noise and putting his water bowl down and talking to him, and he completely ignored me. So that was uh, interesting. So I guess on one hand, it means he's finally comfortable enough with me that instead of uh, being afraid and ready to bolt, um, he just completely ignores me now. So I guess that's progress. I'm still really far away from him, so I'm not a threat yet. But 
So I imagine if I got closer, he'd start getting in this defensive uh, position, get ready to bolt. But I can at least come out here and put the water bowl down, and he won't uh, run away or even look in my direction. <laughs> so I guess that's progress. Kind of a weird way to measure progress, but progress nonetheless. And then, yeah, I don't think I saw him the rest of the day. So I was back on hold <laughs> the rest of the afternoon, and then finally I was done for the day. And then it was sunset, and so I'm gonna probably should go for a walk before it's dark. So I went for my walk. My leg is still not good. So I am noticing, I think, I'm thinking I'm noticing some fatigue around the hip. I'm not feeling any more pain, but I'm noticing kind of a, every now and then it's, it sounds like cracking your knuckles type sensation. Where I feel something kind of like cracking in my hip. It doesn't hurt or anything. So I am a little, a little anxious about that. So I still need to do my stretching exercise for the night. So I may. I may need to take a rest day from the walks, even though they're not really strenuous, but just make sure my uh, leg's healing. But we'll see. So, tomorrow I'm anticipating a little bit more time. So I'm not going to be on the phone tomorrow. Just for you know, I take that back. Like, there is something I need to do. I don't have to do this one. This one's with my uh, new ISP. Um, so I have a problem with my ISP. It's it's a nuisance problem. It's not like a serious. Uh, I can't get the internet problem, but uh, it's something I need to resolve at some point. So the problem is I can't log into my account to get information or access to my account so it's when I try uh, logging in it gives me it keeps giving me an error message so the reason I need to log in or at least I, the reason I want to log in is I'm trying to get information about how much data I've used for the month because they have a quota and I want to make sure I'm nowhere near that quota and so I wanted to log in to see if it can tell me what my you know what my usage is, but yeah, I, I can't log in because I keep getting that stupid error. And I did some internet searches, and the error seems to actually be fairly common. There was a lot of people complaining about the same issue. So, and it's been around for a while, so it doesn't look like it's going to get fixed. You just have to call in, and then what's annoying is you actually have to. Everyone's suggesting he's been through this, saying you actually ask for. I forgot the exact term, but it's like the equivalent of asking for the manager or the the next level up tech uh, tech support person. So the the lowest level tech support people assume you're an idiot and um, make you do a bunch of completely unrelated steps that have nothing to do with the problem, just to. I guess weed you out to make sure you're not an idiot and doing something really stupid. Um, but since this is a fairly well documented problem that they know about, uh, they won't fast path you until you request uh, the manager or second level technician or whatever the term is. I'm going to check that. So I'm not looking forward to being on hold for this. <laughs> so I'm putting it off, but yeah, I do need to take care of it. But Originally, I think when I signed up, I was talking to the, or I was chatting with the agent online, asking about the quota stuff, and they didn't tell me I was supposed to get an email message when I get near the quota. I haven't received an email, but of course, 
they could be mistaken, so that's why I want to log in, is just kind of verify all this. That's what I don't want to happen is to be hit with a uh, $100 average charge for the month or something like that, you know, some ridiculous amount. So I've I think already gone through two major operating system updates, so I'm sure that was a lot of data. And then uploading these cat videos actually is a lot of uh, data. And then I've been downloading a lot of uh, class uh, online class material, which are you know, videos basically, and that, that's actually a lot of data too. So, so you want to lick the ball? No? I'm reaching into the ball to move the balls. And then he's gone. Okay, I guess he doesn't like the smelly fish uh, crumbs. Okay, folks, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.